Good God, this is a mess. Oh, sorry. I usually do more of an intro than that. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the Stonk Exchange jury, the time has come for us to discuss the Philadelphia Fusion, the team that dropped half their Korean players before moving to Korea. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ooh, leg day. Why bother making a video about Philadelphia when the rumors already say they're about as successful in scrims as an octopus would be at Scrabble or Valiant would be at making a fan base? Sorry. But where there are rumors, there is volatility and there is speculation. And where there's volatility and speculation, there's a chance to make money. So for all you future trillionaires and scrim bucks tycoons, let's go through the potential benefits and pitfalls of putting money into fusion. Should for rumors of poor scrim performance be true, the first place we look to place blame would be on the lacking visas for the Europe-based members of a fusion, which is quite a few, as it turns out. Funny Astro in particular was essential to the solid performance of Fusion in the 2020 season, and his partnership with Alarm was, in my opinion, the most solid part of the lineup. Alas, South Korean visa laws have become far more strict after an incident last year when Exe tried to smuggle Cruz into the country on a pet visa by claiming that Cruz was his dog. And he would have got away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling laws. Still, this boomerang to maroon half a fusion in Europe and replacements are desperately needed by the team in Seoul. However, this has allowed the stock price to slump somewhat, and I'm confident that the bounce back for Fusion will come because of two reasons. Firstly, they aren't releasing their players during the visa troubles, <coughs> Boston, and this to me is a huge signal of confidence in their proper roster from the Fusion backroom, which in turn increases my confidence in their eventual power. Secondly, this team has a wealth of free agents and an incredibly successful academy team in South Korea to choose from. Mere minutes before I started recording this video, Philadelphia signed Hopper, and doubtless, to fuck with me and for no other reason at all after this video comes out, they'll sign another main support to replace Funny Astro until he can get his visa. Obviously, quickly integrating new players into these roster slots will be a fairly difficult task, but it could be eased by some of these players potentially already having filled in scrims for fusion, and in Hopper's case having existing synergy with Mano. Plus, with Hopper's far afield off-tank style, it'll be like Poco never left, as Hopper claims space over in Europe while the teamfight occurs in Korea. Still, this is all theory. All conjecture. Leg day. Let's talk money. Tendies. Scrim bucks. Fine. The truth is, this stock's value will potentially plummet like a bird being hit by a stinger missile on April 18th when Philadelphia goes up against the LA Valiant. If you're already holding Philly Stonk, this could be a painful day. If you're looking to invest and want to maximize your gains, buying after a Giga Dip if they lose to Valiant's Emergency Squad could get you the most for your money. Still, this assumes that Philly loses to Seoul, which is their first match, and I'd say that's pretty likely. If you buy before this match and Philly win, well, that'll be a significant boost, but the risk of losing so much if a Valiant match goes south, in my opinion, holds me back. Philly stonks won't rise too much from beating the Cobble squad of Valiant either, so investing afterwards won't hurt too much. This stock will be almost guaranteed to rise through the season as the far-flung European members of the roster relocate to Seoul with proper non-pet visas. So, as of last week, I'd recommend doing a long hold on these if you're buying in early 2021. After all, the Fusion have shown that they are willing to try and fix most problems by throwing money at them. If you've been holding Philadelphia stock for a while, in these times of rumor and issues, just hold on. Remember, it's not a loss until you sell. May tendies and scrimbucks come to you all. Subscribe to this channel for fresh hour content every week. And remember, this video is not financial advice.